Hi everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Skolsky Schoolhouse. I hope you're doing well. I have to admit, I'm a little bit nervous to meet our letter guest this week. He's come a very long way and he's here to represent the letter V, which says V. Actually, he's nocturnal, so he's sleeping right now. So I'm going to have to wake him up. I hope he doesn't mind. Uh, hello, uh, Victor? Victor, can you, hello, can you, would you mind coming up and... Oh, hello, hello, who is there? It is I, Victor, the vampire bat. Oh, hello, Mrs. Skulski. You scared me a little bit. Oh, <laughs> well, I didn't mean to scare you, Victor. I must admit, though, I am a bit nervous to have a vampire bat sitting right beside me. Oh, do not worry. I will not hurt you. <sighs> I'm relieved to hear that. Ah, good day, everybody. It is I, Victor, the vampire bat. <laughs> Well, Victor, it's nice to have you here with us today. I've, I've never seen a vampire bat before. Where do you live? Ah, I live in Mexico. However, we also live in parts of Central and South America. Oh, vampire bats don't live in North America? No, no, no. But of course, I came because I am your special letter guest. Oh. So I make exception to the rule and travel here to say hello. Well, thank you very much. Ah, but of course. <laughs> I'm surprised to learn that you live in Mexico because your accent sounds like you're from Eastern Europe. Ah, your confusion is understandable, but we are not found in the old world. The old world? You, you mean Europe? Of course. But isn't that where vampire legends began? Ah, yes. We were given our names because we feed on blood, just as the vampires of the legends do. But. That still doesn't explain your accent. Ah, I use this accent because it makes me more intriguing. Don't you agree? <laughs> I, I guess so. <laughs> so, is your home... Well, what is it like in Mexico? Ah, well, Mrs. Skulski, vampire bats live in dark places like tree hollows, mines, abandoned buildings and caves. Oh. Where do you live? Ah, I roost in a wonderful little cave in eastern Mexico. Oh, you roost there. Mm. Well, bats are nocturnal, so you need a home that stays dark during the daytime when you're sleeping, correct? Ah, correct. Well, how old are you, Victor? Ah, I am five years old. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> You know, Victor, when you make that noise, you remind me of Count Dracula from Sesame Street. Ah, of course. He is one of my favorite people in the whole world. Of course, he is much older than I. And he's not a vampire bat either. No, just a vampire. Well, a vampire puppet. Anyway, how, how long do vampire bats live? Ah, approximately nine years. So you still have some good years left in you. Yes, if all goes according to plan. Oh. <laughs> Victor, um, we would love to know how vampire bats spend their time. What do you do when you're awake at night? Ah, we glide around at night looking oh. for food. Oh, food. Mm, what do you eat? Blood. <clears throat> oh, blood. Don't be worried, Mrs. Skolsky. We like the blood of cows and pigs and horses and birds, not the humans. Oh, well that's a relief because vampires in the legends suck human blood. Ah, yes, I understand your trepidation, but I assure you that all is well. I have no desire to suck your blood. Mm -hmm. So do you kill cows and pigs and horses and birds when you need to eat? Ah, no, we don't kill them. We just suck some of their blood. Mm. You have nice fangs, Victor. <sighs> hey, maybe we can get a close-up on his fangs. Ah. Would that be all right with you? Uh, yes, of course. My beautiful fangs. Look closely. Look very closely. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> So you suck the blood with your fangs, ah, like through them? No, we do not suck blood through our fangs. We make a very small cut with our sharp teeth, and then we lap up the flowing blood with our tongues. Oh, like dogs lap up water when they drink? Ah, exactly. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 
Well, how much blood do you drink? Most of us need two tablespoons a day for survival. Ah, ah. Well, that must really hurt the animals when you get the blood from them, when you're drinking. Ah, no, we are very small and graceful. I assure you, it does not hurt at all. In fact, sometimes we drink for 30 minutes before the animal even knows we are there. Well, you don't look very small to me, Victor. I think a cow would notice if you landed on her. Uh, Mrs. Skolsky, do you not know? Know what? I am much larger in this moment than I normally appear because I have magically made myself seem larger in order to be your weekly letter guest. Oh. Our bodies are just three inches long and our wingspan, huh? Huh? <laughs> a mere seven inches. <laughs> Well, that's definitely smaller than you look. Thank you for doing that, but really, you didn't have to. You, you could have just come as your original size and still been the letter guest. Now she tells me. <laughs> so your bodies are usually the length of your head and neck? Yes, and we only weigh two ounces. Ah, ah. Not even a pound? No, Mrs. Skolsky, not even a quarter of a pound. Only one-eighth of a pound, like a hummingbird, huh? Well, that's not very much, especially compared to other animals and people. But I must tell you, sometimes we drink so much blood that we can double our weight in one feeding. You mean you can go from one-eighth of a pound to one-quarter of a pound with one meal? Yes, like a small apple. Ah, 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 ah. Well, what happens if you can't f find blood? Oh. It is very sad. Oh. If we cannot find blood for two nights in a row, we die. Oh, oh dear. Well, can't you eat something else? Ah, I cannot imagine. That would be disgusting. Vampire bats are exclusive blood eaters. Nothing else. Oh, I didn't realize that. Mrs. Skulski, it is a pitiful sight to see a little bat perish simply for lack of blood. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset you. That is sad. Ah, I must remind myself that many of us are very generous. Oh? Sometimes we spit up our blood to share with others. You spit up blood? Uh, regurgitate it, yes. Like when? Whenever someone needs to eat to survive. Sometimes after a baby bat is born, other vampire bats will feed the mother for many weeks after the birth. Wow. So you really look after each other? Of course. Mother bats cannot leave their babies alone. We are very, very kind creatures. Mm -hmm. And what else makes a vampire bat special? I am so glad you asked this question, Mrs. Skulski. Not all bats are alike. In fact, unlike any other bat, vampire bats can walk, we can run, we can jump, which helps us attach to our prey. Wow. Yes. We also have heat sensors on our little noses. They help us find a good spot on an animal's body to feed. Oh, wow. And strong back legs and a special thumb to help us detach and leave when we are finished eating. Ah, ah, ah. Did you say a special bum or a special thumb? A special thumb. Oh, OK. I'm glad I clarified that. That's convenient. Hey, perhaps most incredibly, we can locate our food by sensing the sound of an animal breathing. You must have very good hearing. Yes, we do. And if we learn to recognize the sound of an animal breathing, like a cow, yes. we can return to it night after night to eat and drink its blood. Oh, I don't think I'd want to be that cow. As I said already, it does not hurt. It hmm. does not hurt. Well, is there anything about being a bat that you wish you could change? Well, unfortunately, vampire bats can spread a disease called rabies. This disease can hurt farm animals. However, do not be afraid. Vampire bats can actually become very tame and friendly to animals and mostly to humans, as evidenced by my visit here today. Hmm. Good point. Fun fact, I knew a scientist who developed a relationship with some vampire bats. They would come to him when he called their names. Like pets? I suppose. Ah, 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 <laughs> ah, ah. 
But, of course, you should never try to handle a wild animal. Well, definitely not. Hmm. Well, thank you for this time with us, Victor. I mean, I do feel more at ease, especially after speaking with you and learning some facts about vampire bats. If someone wanted to learn more about vampire bats, could you suggest a good website that they could visit? Yes, you can learn all about us on the website called National Geographic Kids. Oh. Look up vampire bats. I am certain you will find many amazing facts to sink your teeth into. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Victor. Um, we'll let you go back to sleep. Now. Ah, thank you. I am quite exhausted. <sighs> Well, I really enjoyed meeting him. I hope you did too. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, it is I, Victor the Vampire Bat. I hope you enjoyed meeting me. And I hope I can count on you to like and subscribe and meet all 25 other of our alphabet friends. Ah, ah, ah.